Welcome back, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It is round, I believe this is four? Round four of our box opening. I think this is where we end it, right here. We have eight packs remaining, right in my hands, right here. We got, uh, what is that, three Ho-Hos, three Tapu Finis, one Mars Shadow, and one Necroma, Necrozama, <laughs> I forget how to pronounce his name. Um, we're going to do something different with this video, though. For the code cards, I am not going to flash them on the screen. Instead, if you comment down below if you play the game, if not, if you just want to collect them for whatever reason, just comment and I'll be picking out winners randomly to send the codes to. All right? I figure we'll do that instead. I feel that's pretty fair. I'll try and pick different people every day so we don't just have the same people getting the codes. If only the same people are commenting, though, they'll be getting the codes. So without further ado, let us see what is in these remaining packs. I think we're still in the search for um, Feeny himself, Feeny, Feeny, Feeny. So we'll see if we can find him in these remaining eight booster packs. So we have a bit of lightning right there, Razzle Dazzle, Simapore, Bulifant, Electric, Caterpie, Sandy Gast, Venipede, a Snee, <coughs> Snee, <coughs> a Sneasel, and a Lolan Volpix. A reverse a hollow pantsier and the rare will be ha huh. is it is it ha huh, it's another little muck <laughs> I think that's my third one um guys all right I didn't want to upset any more of you guys everyone kept saying put those in sleeves you're disgusting me so there you go right there we're gonna sleeve that little muck that's my third little muck so we now have a playset of those bad boys I don't know how good he is but I'm personally a fan just because of the rainbow colors. So, so far, if I'm calculating it, from my head, we have, what is it, um, two mucks I believe we've gotten from this. I want to say, yeah, it's two mucks that we got from this. Um, what else did we get? Uh, the Full Art Acerola, I believe. I, I think we'll go through all of it again. Or at least I will. I, I might put it back on camera. I'm not sure. If you guys want me to show all the pools that we got from this, um, just comment below. Just let me know. If not, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. But we have a reverse hollow beware and a regular hollow palisand. But, yeah, if you guys want to see all the pools that we got from this, just let me know down below. I assume at some point what we'd like to start doing is start giving away some of these pools, you know? I mean, it's, it's no fair that I keep all these guys. After... A couple boxes of these, I'll just have a whole bunch of extras sitting around. So it only makes sense to give back to the community. At least that's the way I feel. You always want to make sure that uh, you don't want to bite the hand that feeds you, and instead you want to feed the hand. That's my firm belief. I keep pulling two instead of one. Uh, oh, what is that? That is a reverse hollow Wobbuffet, and the rare is an Electros. So we have a ton of Electrics. Now we have an Electros to go along with that. I was also thinking, um, after these packs, is there a certain set that you guys want to see me open? If it's feasible, I will try and get it. I saw a couple YouTubers opening up some pretty cool old packs. I believe, what is it, um, the Aqua series, I want to say, from the, uh, not Sun and Moon, this is Sun and Moon. I believe it's Silver and Gold Days. I saw some of the art on those guys, and those just look beautiful. I would not mind trying to collect a playset of crystals. I think that would be dope all by itself. Um, it's just, I've seen the price on those guys go for like, what is it, $400 or something like that? No, I'm sorry, not $400. It's a lot more than $400. It's roughly about, I think someone said the lowest they saw it for was $1,500, and someone else said that's crazy because that's pretty low for what they normally go for. So I think those booster boxes typically run around 4,000. If you have more information or know a good place to get them from, uh, just let me know down below or just DM me if you're a seller yourself. I don't mind giving you the business at all. I just love the cards so much. But we have a reverse hollow ladybug, and then the rare will be a crab dominable. I don't think I've ever actually seen this guy, honestly. I mean, it's not rare or anything like that, but I kind of like that art. It's kind of a weird looking snowman. Let's see what we get from this. I believe this is the fifth pack. Let me try and separate those codes a bit. That way we don't get them mixed in with anything else. So we have electric energy, a Rhydon, a bodybuilding dumbbell, a Metapod, a Lolan Rotata, 
Porygon shooting out. I want to say it's a tri no, it's not a tri beam. I'm gonna say it's just a beam. His <laughs> normal attack right there. A pan poor just chilling in the forest. A pan saw is just chilling in the plains. An Esper. A that is nice reverse hollow Pikachu. I'm putting that in the back because I like it. I want to collect. Uh, just keep it. And the rare will be. Oh, guys, this isn't even rare, but I just... Listen, Porygon, I know a lot of people think my favorite Pokemon is Snorlax. It is not. Porygon is my favorite. And I was just thinking, there's Porygon and Porygon 2. Where is Porygon Z? So I'm going to sleeve that guy up just because I really love Porygon. Just all the forms of him. He's just something... He's a man-made created Pokemon like me too, but he's nothing like crazy broken or anything like that. Uh, I'm a big fan of things other people don't like. And how many times do you really see someone go, oh, Porygon, that's my favorite Pokemon right there. Let's see if we can pull one last GX or maybe an Ultra Rare or something sick. I'm really looking for a Rainbow Rare, honestly. These are the last two packs. So we will see what we get. And if we can pull the Rainbow Rare, I'm hoping we get it for sure. Just wish me luck and pray to Arceus. We have a Reverse Hollow Bruxish. And then the Rare will be another, another really? Really, Pokemon? Really? <laughs> That's kind of interesting. They gave me the Reverse Hollow Bruxish and then just a regular Bruxish. And there's really not much. No, there's no difference at all. Is there a difference in? Yeah, they're both 38s. So, it's the exact same card, just one's hollow and one is not. I guess I should have known that... I guess I didn't really expect that to be a thing. But this is our very last pack. I'll actually flash that code for you guys. So, that is the one code I will be giving out without needing to comment down below. But without further ado, we have the final pack. Let's pray to Arceus that we get something good. I don't know the Arceus prayer. If you know it, let me know. But we have a Fire Energy. A ride on more bodybuilding dumbbells. I mean, we're really trying to work out here. Metapod, Toga Damaru, Salk, Mudbray, Oddish, Duskull. Is he dabbing? Is he dabbing? Look at that. If I put him more like, he is dabbing. We got the dab bros going on here. We have a reverse hollow Ralts. And do we end it on a good note? The rare will be just a Tangrowth. We may not have gotten the Rainbow Rare out of this box, but I know it's somewhere in this room. It could be in these last two Elite Trainer boxes right here. But to refrain or re-go over the pools, we got a Porygon Z with the ability to initialize, a Reverse Hollow Pikachu, and an Alolan Muck, who is gaining a lot of buzz on the forums. But we'll have to wait to see how viable he is. But don't forget to comment down below for a chance to win one of these codes. If you like this video, Slam that like button, and without further ado, I will see you guys tomorrow.